is there something that people specifically ask you, whether it's like, hey, um, I'm going to go buy this car. I want it for 10000 Where do I start the negotiation? If you're, if you're going to buy a car that has a six-month waiting list, you're not <laughs> going to have a whole lot of negotiating power. Right. If you're going to buy a car that's more standard, do good research and then start low. The other thing that you can do is never go into a dealership. Call up right. one dealership, ask them for their best price, then call up another dealership telling them, hey, listen, I've t- talked to a couple of dealerships. You know, if you give me your best price, I'll buy it from you. And then keep shopping around. And as you do that, the prices will improve. And uh, eventually you'll get to someone's bottom. That's a good tip. I actually did that for my, mo- my mother's car, oddly enough. She, uh, she had a car. She had it all set. And, and she's like, I really don't want to pay this much. And, you know, she had gone in and she had met the person and they had met and talked for a long, long time. And then I said, well, what do you want to pay? And then she told me the number. And so I, I called, exa- I did exactly what you just said. I called the, the next dealership that sells the same car. I said, hey, do you have this car in black, this model, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I do. Great. I'm going to send my mother to go buy it, but can you meet this price? And they said, yes. And that was it. And so I just called my mom. I was in LA. She was in, she was in Massachusetts. And so I called my mom and I said, Hey, this place is going to do it for exactly the amount you want. And to your point, I mean, there was reason to do it. The re the, the, but the window between these cars was tight and this person just was on the higher end and the other person was on the lower end, but it was the same window. You know, it was a logical move for everybody. My point was, I'm just going to save him a lot of time, right? It's the easiest sell of this guy's life. Hey, I want to purchase a car and I want this number and I'm getting this higher number from dealership two miles away. Can you do that? Yes or no? If yes, you have a deal, right? It's like it's so efficient. And I thought it was a huge win for him, for us. And, you know, perfect. It was like Christmas, right? What, what car salesman doesn't want that to happen? Right. I mean, you know, there's a few standard things that you should think about when buying cars. One is that, the whole process set up at the dealerships is not in your favor. Mm. So if you can break that process in some way, once you go into the dealership and they chat you up and they put you in the car and you drive it and you start falling in love with it. And then they start talking to you about payments and you've lost sight about the total amount you're paying. And you know, that whole process is really engineered to get you to say yes to something that you shouldn't be saying yes to. So what you did by making that phone call was just go around that whole process. Mm. And in doing so, you remove from the dealership a lot of the tools they have that allow them to take advantage of a lot of people. That's so, so true. Use your process. You don't have to use somebody else's process. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.